The Day of Dialogue is encouraging Christian students to share their worldview on campus. We'll find out whether there's still room for civil dialogue in public schools. This is the Citizen Link Report. I'm Stuart Shepard along with Candy Cushman, who's the director of the Day of Dialogue event. Hi, Candy. Hi, Stuart. Tell us what students will be doing on Monday. Well, on Monday, thousands of students are going to be engaging and expressing their free speech rights in a way that communicates their biblical worldview and the love of Christ to their classmates. And they're going to be doing this basically by distributing conversation cards that tell their classmates, hey, God cares about every single student in this school, and I'm inviting you to have a conversation about that. And they can find these resources if you want to participate in this event on April 18th, Monday, um, on dayofdialogue.com. All right. Well, why Monday? Why that day out of all the days in the year? Well, it just so happens that this Friday on April 15th, there's an event called Day of Silence being celebrated in thousands of schools and colleges across the nation. And this event is sponsored by one of the nation's largest homosexual activist groups called GLSEN, the Gay, Lesbian, and Straight Education Network. And so there's a good chance that your kid, if they're in a public school, could encounter discussions on this day about things like homosexuality or gay marriage. And a lot of times it just creates a real pressure cooker situation for students of faith. And so um, the next school day, Monday the 18th, Day of Dialogue, is a way for them to respond with a biblical viewpoint expressed in a redemptive and loving way. And, and the basic idea here is that on Friday, uh, there's going to be this event sponsored by this gay activist group that's targeted at students that will be presenting one point of view. Well, rather than say, let's shut that down, the idea is, no, let's enter that conversation. We're happy to have that conversation to talk about a biblical point of view on these topics. Well, that's exactly right, Stuart. And what we want kids to remember is, like it says in Romans 1, 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God. And we want them to have confidence that their biblical worldview and their faith can speak into any issue in this culture, including this one, and that their faith has something loving and redemptive and a hopeful message. And we want them to speak into that silence, to have confidence in that. And the students have a right to enter that conversation, too. I mean, there is a First Amendment principle mm -hmm. at play here. Talk about that just a little well, bit. That is such an important part of this event, um, because in a way, this is a training ground for the leaders of the next generation, because they need to understand and realize the freedoms that our founding fathers fought for and died for. And the best way to defend a freedom, the freedom to speak, the freedom to express different viewpoints, including religious ones, the best way to protect that is to exercise it. If we don't exercise it, we just leave a void of silence. We're intimidated into silence. So at its core, this event is uh, equipping Christian students. You have free speech rights. You can speak what you believe about Jesus and what he has to say to this culture, and don't be afraid to exercise that. And not only do we hope it will equip them for this event, but in years to come when they're out there leading the next generation. All right. Uh, this is largely a student-led event. I mean, this mm -hmm. is kids at school, at high school, and also at college campuses around the country talking about these issues. And, and we have a video that was produced by one of the students who will be taking part. We want to share that. That'd be great. This is from Colin Harrell. He's 16 years old, and he put together an excellent video. Christ like would be glorifying God in everything that you do say. There's a lot of ways you could answer that, but I would say you can reflect Christ um, mostly by your actions. We say actions speak louder than words. <laughs> it means to be so in love with God and so into what He's doing and so connected with Him that every action you do would be an action that he does. Now that's just the first 30 seconds, the whole video is about three minutes, but it's enough to give you the sense that, that young people get it. They understand the Christian way of presenting these topics that we're talking about. It's presented in Christian love, but it is entering the dialogue with boldness. That's right, Stuart. These kids really do get it, and that's what's so exciting and encouraging to see. They get that at its core, this is about sharing the love of Christ, and the love of Christ speaks to any issue, whether that's sexuality, abortion, whatever it is. They're communicating that uh, they want to share the love of Christ that we were created, we are sacred human beings created to be in an intimate relationship with our Creator. And, and that's what these tools allow them to express through student initiated conversations. Now, I can imagine some parents might be a little uncomfortable with the idea of their students entering this conversation. What's your advice for them? 
Well, first of all, it's important to realize that there are some 55 million kids in public schools today, and the chances are pretty good that if they're in the public schools, they're going to encounter discussions about things like homosexuality or gay marriage, and so we want them, we want students of faith to be equipped to respond to that, not only in their own mind, but in how they speak to their classmates, to their teachers, and also, even if they're not in a public school, let's say they don't go to a public school, they're still going to be encountering this through online media, what they hear in pop music. And so Day of Dialogue gives parents a great way to engage with their kids, to ask them, how would you respond to this through your faith, through your biblical worldview? And there are conversation starters on the website that you can discuss as a family. So it's a great way to engage as a family about the hot topic issues of our day. All right, now, where can people find out more? Where may they register? Well, if you get any takeaway today, it's really important to register for the event. If you're a student or you have students in your home or church, let them know about it. They just need to go to dayofdialogue.com, look for that register today button at the top right hand corner of the website. Click on that. That'd be the first most important way to get involved. Register at dayofdialogue.com. And then the second most important thing to do is download the conversation card on the website and make plans to distribute that in your school. And you want to plan ahead um, for that. Give a, a, at least a few days to get some friends together and let your school officials know that you're planning this. All right. Now, on, on Tuesday, the day after the Day of Dialogue, what do you hope people remember? What do they take away from this? Well, I hope the conversation will be continued in schools, that, it, that this inspiration of sharing the love of Christ as it applies to current day issues will not just end on that day, that they will continue having lunch meetings, having student-led conversations. Um, and as we said before, the takeaway is that as Christian students, they are emboldened, they are equipped to know that their faith speaks into this culture, that they have a powerful, redemptive message of love that will change this culture, and that's the takeaway. All right. Well, thanks for the work you're doing with that, and thanks to all the students who are taking part Thank in this. You. We appreciate your being willing to step in and, and enter that dialogue and that conversation. Thanks, Candy. Thank you, Stuart. And thanks to all of you who are watching. Uh, we, we do appreciate your notes of encouragement and also your questions and criticisms. You may also always write to us at mail at citizenlink.com. Say a prayer this week for the students who will be taking part on Monday day in the day of dialogue, both that they would be bold, that they would have clarity of mind, and that they'd also be able to win over the hearts of their classmates as they talk about these important issues that are so difficult on the campuses around the country today. And remember, stand tall and be heard.